Hi again, I am back. Hey, check that out. I've got some viewers for my round two. I did my introduction, my first, well, kind of first uh, Periscope without fooling around. Um, but I am back and I just want to introduce myself again. For you who are following me or have been invited to this scope, I'm Jennifer Nesbitt Holt. I am CEO and founder of Flow Creative Design as well as Jennifer Nesbitt Holt. Nesbitt with one T. And um, I'm, wow, happy to be here. I help professional artists, writers, designers, filmmakers, photographers. I mean, I could go on and on and on, but professional artists that are seasoned in their career to help them overcome creative blocks that have either been haunting them for years or are looking uh, to find more creative flow to produce better pieces in their artistic trade. So uh, we're going to talk today, though, I think it's a very important topic about the top three reasons to join an artistic community as well as a creative community to help keep those juices flowing. I think as artists, a lot of times, I know personally as a painter, I get stuck in the studio and it's easy to just not be that engaged. So if you like what I'm saying today, tap the screen, give me some hearts, and then that will help boost this up on the playing field of Periscope. And uh, let's get started. So if you want to fuel your career as an artist, it's imperative that you connect with other artists. And I'm just going to jump right into the content because that first point is all about support. And only a creative, to me, and this is my opinion, can support another creative because we're very entrenched in the process and know what it's like to get so narrowed and have tunnel vision around what we're doing. And the emotional support that we can get from other creatives and artists is to me invaluable. If you find that you've been working in your career and you've stayed away from connecting out of fear of those critiques you remember from art school, or writing, or you know, you don't like being uh, criticized, or you're maybe envious, feeling like my work isn't as good as these other people. But that's we need to get you out of that mindset. So finding the emotional support can lead to better motivation. It can lead to inspiration and stimulation of your ideas. So I like to get creative discussions going with other artists because it only can make my art better. And if you're interested, I would love to uh, have you join. If you're looking for a community and don't have a community, I have one over on Facebook. Uh, but you can also hop on my site at www.flowcreativedesign.com slash collective. And we have a free community where we support each other. And we have just this wide realm of artists. And I'm really excited to support. So tap the screen if you're excited about that or leave any comments or questions. And I love it. I see my mailman walking up to the door right now. <laughs> um, that's the beauty of this being live. I love it. It's so much different than uh, recording and podcasting, and that's what I'm used to. So um, with the with talking about community and that support, another point would be that you can get the project support. Uh, with that, you know, there's there is the constructive criticism that can come along with it, and we need to be open to receiving that with our community and with our work because that's how we learn is hearing what other professionals are saying especially if they are seasoned in their career and they are taking the time to critique your work hopefully it's in a good gesture and that they're wanting to see you succeed now there are those haters that uh, have nothing to do with your success as an artist so I'm not saying to listen to them and to get caught up in the emotional turmoil of feeling bound by heavy criticisms and make sure you're just cautious of that, if that makes sense. Um, so my second point would be about collaboration, networking. And I have had some really exciting experiences with this. And for one, I had a really um, fun pregnancy photography experience with my first child. And when um, I got pregnant five years later, the photographer came back to me and said, I want to do a collaborative piece with you where we do some sort of mural art on the wall 
and have a, another artist come in and paint your body. And so I was able to have that collaboration come about because we got together and we're constantly in a community of artists and always very excited. I'm still connected with those artists. Um, so, you know, if you have any comments, I'm not sure if the uh, comments are working. I noticed that earlier when I tested this out with my husband. So I'm not seeing hearts. I'm not seeing comments. Uh, you might not find value in the, the uh, stuff that I'm giving you, but if you can, just tap for a minute or say, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, regardless, I'm going to move on because to me, this is some juicy stuff. <laughs> so another thing, uh, another benefit to consider is that there's some creative education that can come about with joining a community of artists. And again, if you're looking for a community, you can always hop onto flowcreativedesign.com slash collective if you're a professional creative or artist to find that support that you need. And then what I mean about the creative education is it's enhancing your knowledge to learn something new, to get out of that realm of what you do as an artist. For instance, if you're a sculptor and you're constantly working with three-dimensional objects, maybe it's time to pick up a drawing class or to find someone who can inspire you to take it down to a three-dimensional level, or two-dimensional level, rather. Rather, Can't talk. Um, and that's very important scientifically. I know for me as a holistic sound healer, I talk a lot about the brain. So that's helpful because you're learning something new, you're connecting new neurons, and this can be completely awe-inspiring to your new pieces. Um, you know, it's all about talking about keeping it fresh with your community, working, uh, again, the other parts of the brain. And I wanted to also give you a little bonus tip. I know I'm slipping in here and I said there's just going to be three top reasons to join a creative community, but I'm here to tell you that there is also some really good benefits to your business and to help you get a little bit braver if you're not already uh, to ask for the help. You know, you can learn how to apply for art and artist grants by connecting with the community because you can have someone hold your hand and lead the way. I personally know someone who is living in Prague off of a grant who's a professional painter and she's very successful and doing very well and has really immersed herself into the community there. Um, residencies, that would be another way to, you know, move outside of your realm and discover how can I get an artist re residency. You know, funding, aid, and also learning how to give your art back to the community. So finding ways to interact with community artists with your local city. So it's all about connection. It's all about, you know, giving to receive. It's about inspiring to motivate as well as igniting your ideas. That's the reason to connect. And I'm so happy that you were here listening. I really hope the broadcast wasn't delayed in any way. Um, what I see that there's some viewers on, but I haven't had any dialogue boxes or hearts. But I'm not going to cry about it, okay? <laughs> um, this is all new, and it's so exciting. And if you're here and you can't heart tap this, give me a thumbs up, an energetic thumbs up for Periscope, because I am loving it already. Um, so in, in conclusion... You know, I want to thank all of you for following me along today. And if you're not following me and you are invited here, you can join me at Jennifer, J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R, Nesbitt, one T-H. That's my Twitter handle also. And uh, you can also check out my website. The new website hasn't been launched, but you can get on the list if you're interested in finding more community support as an artist and learning how to overcome creative blocks at flowcreativedesign.com. It was a pleasure. Excited to be here. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for another broadcast. Okay? Mwah.